Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to my uh, next part of Ace Attorney, and we are on the second case right here, and we're continuing from where we left off, and uh, let's see what happens now. Turnabout Corner, that's the next name of the next case, and if you enjoy this series, do drop a like on it. As long as we draw breath... The wheel of fate turns. Spinning big crimes and little crimes together. And when the wheel stops... You die. It looked like I saw Phoenix's daughter there in the background too. June 15th, 9 12 a.m. So it's been two months later, Wright and Co. Law Offices. Two months have passed since Mr. Gavin's arrest. My first trial, and I lost both my mentor and my job. Yeah, I'll admit it. I was screwed. But even when I hit bottom, I told myself I'd never come here, honest. Here being the legendary Wright & Co. Law Offices. Wow, okay, Justice, time to stop trembling. Uh, you must be here for the interview, right this way. Huh? Hello there, you found the right place, welcome. Uh, uh, what's with this girl? Well now, shall we begin? Begin what? Right. First things first, any special talents? Um, talents? Yes, well, you must have at least one. Well... Uh, I guess. Defending? Defending. An unusual talent, but it'll do. With a little jazzing up, of course. You, you think so? Let's give it a go, shall we? Huh. Go ahead, show me defend. Just give it all you've got. Don't hold back now. What? What? What, what are you talking about? I can't just defend here. First lesson, a professional can perform anywhere. No, I think I'm the professional here. Thanks. We want people to be laughing with us, not at us. Thanks. But I'm not sure why they should be laughing at all. What? What exactly do you think you came here to do? What? Um, defend? No? Excuse me, but do you know where you are? Huh? The Wright & Co. Law Offices, right? Oh. I was afraid of that. Don't worry, you're not the first. Look, what's going on here? Who are you? I came here to meet with the person in charge. Well, you've apparently made no fewer than two mistakes. Mistakes? But I got a call from Mr. Wright this morning. Perhaps you should just go read the sign out front again. What's there to read? Look, it says right there. Oh. Why does it say Wright Talent Agency? Welcome to the Wright Talent Agency, where you've always come to the right place. I'm Trucy Wright, CEO. I'm a magician. It all came flooding back, the trial, that girl. Hello sir, please pick a card. That's right, he's my daughter. Brucey, right. Here, check out our flyer. So, what's your name? Apollo, Apollo Justice, attorney at law. Uh, talk, right, talent agency. So, is this really a talent agency? You bet. Daddy started it seven years ago when he quit law. Of course, we only have two people signed up right now. Two people? Does that mean inclu include you? Brucey Wright, magician extraordinaire. I've done a lot of stage shows, paid too. I'm professional, you know. Nope, that's me. Er, right. Promise you'll come to one of my shows, okay? Let's see. Oh, and the other person our agency represents is Phoenix Wright, pianist extraordinaire. Your dad, in other words. Didn't he say he couldn't play the piano? Our agency doesn't see that as a problem. Why, there are many magicians who can't do magic. At least you're optimistic, I'll give you that. So you're his, um, you're Phoenix Wright's daughter? That's right. After daddy quit law seven years ago. I promised I would keep him fed. 
So I'm kind of his sugar daddy, get it? No. I'm in charge of this whole office, too. Pretty amazing for a young lass of 15, wouldn't you agree? 15? Uh, how old is Mr. Wright? Daddy? Oh, he's 33 this year. I'm sure there's a good explanation, I hope. Um, about Mr. Wright giving up law. It was because of that incident seven years ago, wasn't it? Hey, you know about that. Not the details. I remember the news, though. It was a big deal. Oh, and one of you guys wrote in the comments, uh, can I read your comments that in Japan that A is kind of like a, 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 a slang for like that you're surprised? Uh, I remember the news, though. It was a big deal. So I hear. I was too young to understand what was going on. I'll ask Daddy about it next time I get a chance. Daddy, right. That reminds me about Mr. Wright. He gave me a call this morning to come in. Daddy's not here right now. He's in the hospital. What? The hospital? Yeah, he's on strict bed rest until he gets better. B what? Okay. Which hospital's Mr. Wright in? I'll pay him a visit. Oh, the Hickfield Clinic. It's quite close. Right. Well, I'll be going now, and I'll give this uh, showbiz gag some thought, okay? Wait, I'll go with you. June 15, 9.45 a.m. Hickfield Clinic. Oh, this is Mr. Wright's hospital. Oh god, this guy. Hey, visitors, are you? Hmm? I remember this guy from the, um, uh, he's from the older Phoenix games, the, the creepy doctor. Uh, yeah, are you the doctor? Hi, yep, Dr. Hitfield's the name. Hey, 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 hey. Good morning, doctor. Oh, hiya there, Trucy. Cute as ever, eh, heh heh. Is this daddy's room? Oh, yeah. Uh, Shep, he's gone for a morning checkup. Be back soon. How are you, Miss, uh, Trucy? Got any place you'd like examined? A, hey? Uh, he's creepy. Doctor. Doctor, the nurse was looking for you. Uh, why if it isn't the daddy, oh, the cutest little thing in town? Hmm, hmm, <laughs> guess I'll be off then, eh? E, uh, later, Trucy. Wow, what an odd bird that guy was. Good morning. Uh, didn't expect you so soon, Apollo. Mr. Wright. So, what happened? Who could have imagined it? Me, victim of a hit and run. A hit? Uh, you were hit by a car? Oh, he tried to swerve. I'll give him that. Picture me tossed 30 feet through the air. Only stopping when my head hit that telephone pole. You hit a telephone pole with your head. Are you okay? So, remember that at the start of each case, it shows you like a little cutscene of what was happening. And at the beginning, we saw a car swerving. So, this hit and run definitely has something to do with the case that's going to be coming up. Thankfully, uh, my only injury was a sprained ankle. He really is, uh, as lucky as they say. About Trucy. Uh, there's something that, well, it just doesn't sit right. I just can't believe you have a daughter, Mr. Wright. And... She's so big, not fat, but, uh, you know what I mean. Oh, Trucy's still a child. Daddy, how many times do I have to remind you? I'm not a child anymore. Ah uh, ha ha, but you'll always be daddy's little baby girl to me, Trucy. Ah uh, ha ha, my foot, I'm not buying it. Oh, something you should know about Trucy. He's a magician, right? He told me. Not a mere stage magician. He's a genius. Hey, he. Ah, daddy. This doesn't really make sense how he has a daughter at th this age. You'll soon come to appreciate her talent. You could just tell me things instead of insinuating them. Uh, so why did you contact me? What could the right talent agency possibly want with me? No need to get, um... A prickly now. Hey, I didn't ask to be dragged in like this. Uh, but didn't you come into the office of your own free will anyway? Well, yeah, of course. Help! We're in big trouble here at the office. I thought that someone was dying. So you don't think this is a big trouble? My talent agency represents only two people, and one of them is in the hospital. That's right, Daddy. How are we going to pay this month's rent and the groceries? Yeah, that's the problem with such a tight operation. It's a symbiotic relationship. When one of us falls, the other two must fall. Hey, this isn't exactly a suitable conversation to be having with a 15-year-old kid. In any case, if Apollo here can't help you, you'll have to transfer to a new school again. No, I can't. I only just made friends. 
How could you do this to me? Was Holly. Huh, what? Now it's my fault? On that note, how about you come work for us? I've got the perfect client for you already lined up. A, a client? You mean I get to do my job? I get to defend in court? Alright, I'll hear what you have to say. You got him, daddy. Hook, line, and sinker. Aha, uh -huh. now, uh, now it's the time to reel him in. Official, I'm scared. Our client. Alright, so who's the client? Ah, uh, yes. Here. Take a look at the map and I'll explain. Last night, I left the office just before 9 o'clock. That's Phoenix? I was going to that in Indochine pasta joint, a Alden Tays. I play piano there, of course. That's when it happened. What happened? The hit and run? The car sent me flying, nicked a telephone pole. And zoomed away. Creepy, huh? Just a tad. It's almost as creepy as hearing you tell the story like it was no big deal. The car sped off in this direction. So, good luck. Huh? You wanted a client, didn't you? Well, I'm your client. Find a guy who knocked me into that telephone pole. Well, hold on. I'm a defense attorney, not a detective. Don't worry. Once you've found the guy, I intend to sue him. <laughs> then you can stick it to him in court. I'm not a prosecutor either. I'm sorry, but this is crazy. I'm going home. Don't get so worked up. It was just a joke. Huh? Oh, Daddy. Sorry, Apollo. He just loves jokes, you know? Even the ones that aren't very funny. Your real client should be stopping by the office anytime now. The office? You mean the talent agency. No harm in going. It's not like I have anything else to do. One more thing. Do look uh, into my accident, too, would, would you? I marked the scene of the tragedy on this map. It's right in front of this park. Should be easy to find. So he's going to make me investigate this after all. Map added to the court record shows the area around Mr. Wright's office. The map. Oh, and the office is right there, too. Mr. Wright's bed. It's really messy. Look how messy this is. You're just home, uh, hopeless without me, aren't you, Daddy? Yikes, she's attempting to clean up. Look out. Ha, <laughs> you got me. What can I say? I was raised in a barn. Try not to let the word get out, Apollo, if you don't mind. Yeah, it might ruin your illustrious career pretending to play the piano. What's that on TV? Looks like some sort of action hero show. Oh, I know, that one. That's the sniffling samurai. His booger flick attack is a big hit with the grade school crowd. I had no idea you liked this kind of stuff, Mr. Wright. Well, what else is there to do when you're stuck in bed? Besides, the episodes will just keep piling up if I don't keep up, you know? Um, yeah, try not buying them. Now, it's the only time I get to watch and write up my reports. Your reports? It's a long story. Like a lot of things, actually. Okay, so I see. So when there's like the... That, I guess that's to stop you from clicking around everywhere. So if there's like the red circle, that means you can you can examine it. A swaying, spiraling stack of DVD cases. The Steel Samurai. The Nickel Samurai. The Pink Princess. The Zappy Samurai. Electric Bugaboo. I remember the Steel Samurai. That case was in the, um, in the first game. They're all children's action hero shows. This kid I know keeps sending them to me. Huh? Like a niece or nephew? Something like that. White Dell Collection. This kid's parents must be really generous with their allowance. Funny, Mr. Wright doesn't seem the type that kids would like. Ah, uh, Daddy, you snuck some grape juice in again? The doctor said you weren't supposed to drink that here. Brucey, look at the label. Deep sea mineral water, that's fine, I guess. I switched the labels. Don't tell Tru uh, Trucy, okay? What can I say? The man loves his grape juice. Uh, oh. This looks like a child's uh, toy piano. Gotta practice. Wouldn't want my fingers to get stiff. A pro always keeps his weapon close at hand. Shall I play you a tune? Uh, no thanks. Uh, how unfortunate. I so rarely get a chance to play. I think that's everything, right? I'm in everything in here. 
Okay. The talent agency. We gotta go see the client, right? June 15, 10 05 a.m. Right talent agency. Hey, hey, hey. How long are you planning on making me wait, eh? Uh, good morning. Hey there, Bruce uh, C. Doll. Sounds like your pops had a bit rough spot, eh? All's well that ends well, I guess. This is our client? Hey, so this is that Polo fel uh, fellow, eh? Oh, uh, y yes? The name's Apollo. Look at, at I'm there, arms all crossed, like ready to fight. Yes, sir. You don't mean that literally, do you? The boss told you what I need, right? Don't let me down now, Polo. Don't worry about your defense serve on it. Defense? Your noodle half cooked. It's too late for defense. My castle's been stormed. My keeps uh, been kept. My noodle stand's been stolen. N noodle? You know Mr. El Eldune from the noodle stand, don't you, Polly? No nicknames, please. And no, of course I don't know him. You're new in these parts. Not really. Then you know the best noodles in town. Eldon's noodles. Uh, whose noodles? My noodles. Or help me out here, Trucy doll. This is Mr. Guy L. Dune, our client. Maybe you can tell us what the problem is, Mr. L. Dune. Anything for you, Trucy doll. Who's this guy? So, and uh, you run a noodle stand, Mr. And here's the thing. Remember, in the first cutscene, they showed us, like, in black and white, there was, like, a car that tr almost hit Phoenix, and then there was a guy with a noodle stand and a gunshot happened, so this is all linked. Eldun, Guy, Guy Eldun's the name, and noodles are my game. The secrets in the soup. I've been searching for the perfect soup for a year and a half. Oh, that's, that's not that long, really. My family's been noodle men for generations, got a lot of expectations on my so shoulders. Fifteen fathers passing the noodle to fifteen sons. That's pretty old noodle. I and fool that I was, I pushed it away. I rebelled against my pops and picked another livelihood. But that didn't turn out so well. Oh. There was no denying it. Salty broth runs through these veins, boy. So, it was like destiny that you became what you are. Right, destiny's the word. Oh, I fought it. But in the end, I was bound by the twisted noodle of fate. Not a mental image I care to linger on. So last year, I started my noodle stand. The 15th generation of Eldun's Noodles. Eldun's Noodles. Um, so tell me more about Eldun's Noodles. You don't know the genius that are my- my noodles. I make them so salty, why? They're saltier than salt. Now I really don't want to find out. Daddy's a regular at his noodle stand. He frequented my pop's uh, stand back uh, during his attorney days too. Yep, him and his assistant. I'm sorry, I'll be sure to drop by your stand soon. Wish you could, Sonny. Hey? Heck, I wish I could. I'd give anything for a bowl about now. What do you mean? It was stolen! My stand! Gone! Stolen. Stolen stand. It was last night. I was doing my rounds, blowing my whistle. It's it's like an ice cream truck's bell, but louder. He even gets complaints. Hey, hey. Now you're just trying to butter me up. That sounded more like the blues than a whistle. I closed up my stand for the night and parked by the house. Then this morning, dark and early, it was gone. My keep, my castle. Oh. Maybe some bum uh, carted it off. Just guessing here. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I'm finished. All my noodle bowls were in there too. That's the status thing I've heard all day. You know it. Anyway, any who's, uh, house, that's the deal. Good luck. Good, good, huh? Wait, well, what exactly is your request? My noodle stand, find it! And the day you bring my baby back is the day you feast on as many noodles as you want. Of course, I make it so hot and salty, two bowls kill a man, then I'd really need defense. <laughs> Speaking of defense, that's what I do. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. This is where I live. You're, you drop a by if you need any info, okay? So he lives there, so our map has been updated. Get it back today if you can, Polo. I got noodles to make. Things have certainly taken a turn for the bizarre. Traffic accidents and noodle stand thieves? Um, actually, there was something I wanted to ask you about, too, Apollo. Huh? I have a bad feeling about this. 
Uh, listen to the lady's problem now. Don't be cruel. I lost something last night. That is, something was stolen. Yeah, I saw her in the background too, so she's linked in this too. Hey, what's this? More thieving and skull... Dug duggery? Well, um... Someone stole a pair of my... Panties? What? Panties? Um, so they were, um, stolen? Your, uh... My panties, yes. Uh, er, right. Panties. That's a crying shame. That is true, Sea Doll. I was alone in the office last night. I had hung my panties out the window there to dry. When a thief came and took them, my favorite panties. I ran after him. Give those back, I shouted. Wait. Okay, this is getting really weird now. Well, that was certainly brave of you. But I lost him. Without those panties, I don't know what I'll do. A darn cry and shame, yup. Well, at least the scene of the crime is convenient. I'll mark it on your map. Yeah, this is not Fallout 4, but okay. I'll be heading home now. Remember, find my stand or there's an empty bowl in your future, Polo. Alright. And you help out Tru uh, Trudy Doll here too, you hear? Things have certainly picked up, haven't they? We had no work yesterday and now we have three cases. I, I guess. Let's see where we stand. But the gunshot, that's the most important part here. So, apparently, uh, not in a courtroom. That's where. But what happened with the gunshot? Well, the first item on our list. Phoenix Wright. Daddy's hit and run accident. We have to find the one who hit him. Who's going to pay us for this again? And the second item. Mr. Eldoon's request to find his stolen stand. This is all- all of this is linked. All of this. The gunshot, the- the accident, the, um, the noodle stand being stolen, and the panties. Uh, for which we stand to gain a bowl of salty noodles. And the last request is mine. To find my stolen panties. That bowl of noodles is looking better and better. Let's go, Polly. To the streets. Aren't you enthusiastic? How could I not be? Let's crack three- these cases, you and me. Guess we might as well get started. Let's see, a hit and run, a stolen stand. And last but not least, stolen panties. Okay. Okay, uh, accident scene, let's go there. June 15th, accident scene. So this is where Mr. Wright got hit by that, that car. According to the map, this is the place. What a huge mansion. Apollo, there's a nice looking lady over there. Let's question her. Um, okay. I'm a little curious about... That park over, over there too. Wait, is she climbing the fence? Excuse me, um, can we have a few words with you? You want something? Whoa, that husky voice. Why am I suddenly sweating? That's quite a house you've got there. You must have a lot of money. Ooh, money sounds like something my son would call his friends. This is the uh, Kitaki family mansion, little girl. Uh, eh? You kid with the hair. You want something? Eric, um, and me? No, not a thing, bye. Apollo, we can't leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? M but the Kitaki family. They're the biggest organized crime syndicate in town, so this is- So this is the Yakuza, is, um, uh, apparently here. Uh, this- this isn't a coincidence, 100%. Uh... If you're going to ask something, ask it. If you're man enough. Waha, right. Yay, uh, way to whip him into shape, ma'am. Does she, uh, know no fear? I'm Plum, Plum Kitaki, wife of the fourth head of the Kitaki family business. Friends call me Little Plum. Uh, uh I'm Little Apollo Justice, attorney at law. It looks, uh, could kill. This woman would be a mass murderer by now. The Kitakis. Little Plum, that's a, a really a cute name for someone, so... Yes. Whoa, whoa. What is it, Apollo? How about you go through me when talking to her, okay, Trucy? Oh, that seems like a little bit of a needless procedure. I'm a lawyer. I live for need needless procedures. Oh, little girl, you should know we're gangsters. Gangs, oh. That means you're the bad guys. 
Brucey, uh, through me, please. I'm begging you here. Ha 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 ha. The bad guys. I like the sound of that. I'm going to need some warm tea after. It takes a lot of hard uh, work to protect the family fortune. Things aren't a as easy as they used to be for us bad guys. So, you're saying that business is in slump. Let's not ask about business if we can help it, please. Last night's accident. So, there was supposedly a car accident here last night. Last night. Uh, of course, uh, you wouldn't know about it, <laughs> sorry to bother you. Yeah, she has a blade in there. Uh, uh, wait, yes? You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet and just walked away. Th that's my daddy. Ah, I should have known. One of our capos thought uh, he'd make a great point, man. Well, that's kind of weird that she's saying that, because a, a capo is basically a captain in the Italian Mafia. It's a capo regime. Um, uh, they would typically run a, an operation for the Mafia, maybe like an illegal business, something. Uh, something, and they, they would have a crew of soldiers, and then they will report directly to the boss, but I don't think the Yakuza uses those those um, terms, but that's a bit weird. Um, capo, point man. Um, could you avoid using too much or industry lingo? In any case, it's been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since morning. Bah. Cleaning up this paint? This, yeah, the paint. Was this paint spilled at the time of the accident? It was around 9 last night, I heard a crashing noise. And found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So you came to his rescue. Uh, you've, uh, my husband, the boss, to thank for that. The car that hit your father knocked over this paint. Then turned the corner and sped away. We're in the middle of repainting our wall, you see. I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. But why are you out here cleaning it up? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any goons to do your dirty work for you? Please, go for me when you want to. Uh, don't be such a, a stiff lawyer boy. I suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. Um, yes. But we're community-oriented gangsters, you see. Oh, oh, the Yakuza is community-oriented now, that's nice. The boss likes to give back to the people, see? How noble of him. I availed myself of the public facilities to get rid of all the garbage. Now there's just a paint on the street to deal with. Public facilities. I wonder if she means that trash can. Okay, uh... Examine the stuff here. There's paint splattered all over this gate. What a mess. Was this paint knocked over by the car that hit my daddy? That's right. Heh. <laughs> and I'm left to clean up the mess. If you find whoever did this, Bring the scoundrel by, would you? Of course. Then you can make them clean up their own mess. Ahahaha. <laughs> you're, you're cute. Naive, but cute. When I find whoever did this, you can bet I'll be doing some cleaning. There's nothing I dislike so much as a mess. Oh, I wish I could say cool things like that. I'll bet you do. <laughs> I'd laugh if my teeth weren't chattering so hard. Wow, what a big house. And the gate is so big. The Kitaki family is pretty big around these parts. I like the fox, it's so cute. Ah, that. That's our family crest from the old country. Your family crest. We're clever as the fox, their teeth are, are sharp. So it's like a motto. You need a crest too, Apollo. Oh, how about the scales of justice or a lunar lander? I'll pass, thanks. This... This is destroyed here. Where the car hit. This dragon. A brightly painted dragon. Why do I get the feeling he's glaring at me? Those paints, uh, must have been, uh... Those paints must have been to re repaint the wall. That's right. I called in an artist to do the job right. He's a third so far. The third? The first spilled paint all over the entrance here. The second on my kimono. So I... No, don't tell me. It's better that I don't know. Okay. Uh... Okay, saw this already here. How do I, uh... Oh.
Oh, this is what I gotta do. Okay. Who's that? She's looking at the park. She's pretty. I bet she has a story. You know? There is something about her. Too bad she seems to be a bit of a rush. What is going on over here? Looks like there's some trouble by the park gate. I smell an incident. Ma'am, there's no entry to the park. Now don't tell me where I can't go, young fella. I always walk through this park on my way home. Please, get down from there. You'll hurt yourself, ma'am. That's quite a determined old lady. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. You know what I think? I bet they're filming a movie. Let's go take a look. Maybe we'll see someone famous. Hey, miss. Stay out of the park. He got mad at me. Um, did something happen here, officer? Huh? Uh, no. Move along. Nothing to see. Why don't you kids go play somewhere else? We're not kids, and we're not playing. I'm an attorney. Something wrong? Ah, Detective Sky. We're fine, ma'am. Nothing to report. Detective. Why, she's wearing a lab coat. You're hardly one to comment on how people are dressed. And these kids are? Curiosity seekers, ma'am. They claim to be lawyers. Uh, why don't you kids run along and play somewhere else? So I remember her. She In the very first Ace Attorney game, I forget her name, uh, but she was the daughter of another uh, detective, uh, and she was basically being framed by the chief of police. Uh, but this is now, you know, several years later, so she's an adult. Look, we're not... Or I might spill something on that pretty face of yours. Want a dose of experimental hydro... Uh, X, uh, I'm not even gonna read that. Um, come again? What's hydrox uh, stuff? Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Let's go, Trucy. Try to keep out the riffraff, if you would. Yes, ma'am. Grr. How are we going to get more information like this? Why don't we ask that nice woman across the street? Oh yes, that nice woman. There's a big trash can on the way into the park. I guess we could check it out. The detective's life sure is a hard one. I'm an attorney, actually. Huh? Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. These are slippers. They look like those slippers you get at the hospital. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off, but when it smacked into something or someone. Wait, you don't think? I do. This could be from the car that hit Mr. Wright. Wow, and he took off its mirror. I never knew Daddy was so strong. I only have room in my pocket for one of these, though. Which do you want to take? Um, take the mirror. Torn off the car that hit Mr. Wright was found in the front of the Kitaki Mansion. What's this? It's cut clean off. I wonder what's in there. No, oh, there are bare wires hanging out. Let's see. This is Zap Eek. What well, are you are you okay? Heh <laughs> just a little joke. Don't scare me like that. You mean don't shock you. Zap Eek. Uh okay. Here. The paint, this is important though. I gotta say, I'd really like to know what happened here. Hey, I said no one goes in. Unless you want a face full of Hydra- Okay, yeah, not gonna read it. Mm, no dice. There's some paint on the slippers in this trash can. I can only carry one thing at a time in my pocket, you know. Uh, no need. Okay. People Park. Hmm. Kind of an odd name for such an empty place. I wonder why it's named that. Hey, there's something written on the gatepost. Huh? Oh yeah. It says donated by Big Wins Kitaki. I mean, the Kitaki family built this park. It's so nice of them to give to the community like that. Let's not get too friendly with them, shall we? A gangster building a park. Odd move for a crime boss. Well, it's not really odd, um, is gangsters have done this throughout history where they build actually parks, hospitals, 
Uh, they build recreational places for people, even soup kitchens. Al Capone built the, you know, biggest soup kitchen in Chicago during the, during, uh, during the Great Depression. But gangsters do this pr primarily for their publicity image, just to make, make them seem good, like good people. But in reality, they're not. They're just doing it just so they look good. But in reality, their hearts are black. Okay, uh, and where are we going here? You know, the stand theft. June 15, uh, scene of the stand theft. So what's this place? This would be Mr. Eldoon's house, silly. Oh, so this is where his stand was stolen from. I can see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. Hey! Look, there's a police car parked over there. You're right. What's with the sparkly entrance? Uh, what is this place, a hospital? There's a sign. Maracatis Clinic. Hmm. Oh, that's where the thief went. The thief? The one who snatched my panties. He ran into the, into this clinic last night. Wait, maybe you that police car is here to find my panties. I doubt it. Well, there's only one way to be sure. Let's investigate. Uh, there you are, Sonny. Well, you find anything yet? Or, um, no, not yet. The longer you loaf around here, the, the saltier your victory bowl gets, just remember that. This bowl of noodles is sounding less like payment and more like punishment. Eldon's noodles. So, oh, your stand. Eldon's noodles, was it? Aye, passed down from father to son. That stand seen a share of salt, mm-hmm. Salt runs in the family, you might say. I bet high blood pressure does too. So, your stand, Eldoon's noodles, was stolen. Oh, it wasn't just the stand that was stolen, Sonny Boy. I lost those whoppy wheels. My salt crusted a stew pot. My stain sign. I didn't just lose a stand, I lost a legend. No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch. Let's find that legend, Apollo. Isn't it about time he bought a new one anyway? Are there any more details you could give me about the stand? You bet, sonny boy. It happened last night. I was bl blowing my whistle like always, crying the town I was. The smell of broth filled the streets. Thick and salty. I got home, well, right before 10 p.m., I reckon. Guess he's not aiming for that late night, uh, market. I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a squirt of grease that I went inside. When did you notice it had been stolen? Early this morning, before the sun rose. Work starts early. Do that many people eat noodles for breakfast? I'm washed up on the salty shores of ruination. That stand has my whole life in it. Nay, my whole being. They took everything. All my soup stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams. At least they left one bowl. Look, there on the ground. If you don't find that stand today, then I'll be forced to walk the streets paddling uh, that bowl, my last bowl. Please, I'm under enough pressure here as, as it is. The garage. That's it. That's where the thief who snatched my panties ran to. It's a crying shame, that is. If they have to steal, make it my loincloth, not some pretty girl's panties. That, the garage, right? You don't think the thief lives here, do you? Hey. Hey, I wouldn't put it past that good-for-nothing doctor. Mm. But detect a little animosity here. Let's make sure to check out the garage thoroughly. Okay, uh, examine. Is this yours, Mr. Eldoon? Hey, that's- th there's the heart and soul of Eldoon's noodles. The bowl absorbs my salty soup pretty soon. It's gonna taste just like noodles. Wow, it does smell like noodles. All my other bowls, I got taken away with my stand. Get it back uh, for me, study boy. I'm begging ya. Bowl added to the court record. Custom made Eldoon Doodles bowl decorated with Eldoon's Doodles mascot. Okay. It's Eldoon Noodles mascot. Mr. Salty, so cute. Not a very endearing mascot, is it? You know, come to think of it. It looks a lot like you, Apollo, especially the red parts. Can I help it, it if I like red? Oh, look! I love these little personal touches. Seems a shame to hide it on the bottom of the bowl. Huh? When I touched it, the paint flicked off. He must have painted it on by hand with a warm professional care. 
after buying the cheapest paint he could find with cold professional thrift. There's a handwritten, uh, sign here. Save the light. Save the light, indeed. Mr. Aldoon's house is practically in the dark here. I guess the hospital clinic next door blocks the sunlight. Everything's gone wrong since they built this monstrosity. Broth needs sun or it rots. What's a man to do? They just want my customers to get food poisoning so they can turn a pretty profit. That seems like a lot of trouble to go through for a few extra patients. Gas? It looks like the oil drum is connected to that sink over there. Collecting rainwater to do the dishes. How environmentally, uh, conscious. You don't think he uses rainwater to cook his noodles and to make the broth, do you? Well, I'm sure he finds the best water money can buy. Taste is his business, you know. Look, that sign over there. Eldun only uses water from all natural sources. Ugh. I think I'll take a rain check on eating here. This house is, well, it's old. It's been well loved, that's for sure. I've lived here with my wife for many years now. It's got character, though. Just like my soup. I always thought character was a positive thing. What's this? That's the place, right there. That's where I kept my stand, covered all nice and pretty with that blue tarp there. But use this plastic sheet to cover your stand at night, I see. You see, what? Did you figure out why it was stolen? Well, no, but it does suggest that the thief knew what he or she was looking for. They clearly knew what was under that sheet. So it wasn't one of those casual drive-by stand snatchers, you mean? Not bad, Sonny Boy. Not bad at all. So it's somebody that knew the stand was there. Oh, and there's a... Look, a doggy. Good boy, good boy, Salty. I'm sure the dog is a real name, Trucy. Yup, sure does. Name's Spoon. And it's a she, by the way. Who doesn't seem so, uh, lively? He didn't get her bowl of salty broth this morning, that's why. Poor little thing. Apollo, let's find that stand soon for Spoon's sake. I'm pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles. How did the dog- The thing is, if the dog is here at night and sleeping, how did the dog not wake up as the thief took it? There- there's only two explanations for that. Uh, the first is that the dog was passed out, something- the dog was completely out cold. When the, uh, when the stand got stolen, or the dog was friendly with whoever had taken the stand. It's probably the second one. The person knew that the stand was here, the person- the person knew the dog. That's probably what it was. That's quite a sign. I take it, uh, that's no as opposed, uh, to old? Ah, so y you like it. Made it myself, I did. I meant to write noodles, but ran out of space. Prior planning prevents poor performance. Lucky for me, it spells a word all by itself and spruces up my image, it does. It does have a certain power of willful denial going for it. Uh... Okay, the cop car here. I understand that there was an ambulance outside, but a police car? Maybe they're, ta they're tax evaders. Uh, sorry, miss. Not going into the clinic today. Did something happen? Huh? Oh, no. Nothing to see here. Move along. You'll have to find someplace else to play doctor. Do we look like the right age to be playing doctor? We need a little more info on this Mercatus clinic. We could ask Mr. Eldoon. He is th uh, their neighbor at all. And we should check out that garage. What if the thief who stole my panties is still in there? Looks like they have a special offer going on. Three shots for the price of one. Oh, now there's our chance, Apollo. Chance for what? I don't need any shots, thank you. Whoever runs their, this uh, clinic, they seem pretty uh, uh, business-minded. Three shots for the price of one. Okay, yeah. That doorway sure is sparkly. The Mercatus Clinic, huh? Looks more like a casino parlor than a hospital. They must be quite profitable. Funny, it looks close. Maybe they're on vacation today. Okay. June 15, Mercatus Clinic, Garage. This is the place. This is where that 
Party Snatcher Ren. Are you sure? Maybe. Let's look for clues. Clues. To a panty snatching? Clues. Like a pair of panties. Um, Trucy, could you try not saying panties so many times? Okay, let's see. Here, what do we got? I already see something under the car. I see the cat. Hey, a kitty cat here. Kitty, kitty, kitty. It's not coming down. We do look kind of suspicious, you have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat. His hair won't hurt you. It's okay, kitty cat. She won't make you disappear in her hat. This stuff. Eek, uh, someone's there. Oh, it's just a gold, uh, painted human skeleton. Just a human skeleton. And painted gold. There's a mannequin, uh, hat, hand waving to us from the box behind the skeleton. This place just screams hospital storage, don't you think? It screams something, that's for sure. This, what is this? There's something about this car. Wait a second, this is the car that hit Phoenix! This car, look, it, it, it's missing the window. Let... The side window, let's take a closer look. And there's something in the muffler, too. Look, a cell phone. Someone's dropped it beneath this tire. If the car moved, it would be crushed for sure. Hmm, I wonder if it belongs to a doctor here. We should uh, bring it to him later. Found in the Mercatus Clinic gar garage beneath a car. Who could have dropped his cell phone? Like, probably a girl's phone here. Um. Look at the cute little watch strap. I want one. Kind of odd, though. Because you have your- you, you have the- the time on your phone, so why would you need that? I mean, if you wanted to know the time, you could just look at the phone itself. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you're right. Sharp, Apollo. But thanks, finally, some respect. So what does that tell you? Well, the owner of this phone doesn't think, uh, through the details, for one. They did drop their phone, after all. Kinda figured they were a little spacey already. Oh, good point. No clues here. What is this? Something's wrong with this muffler. What is that in there? That reminds me. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Apparently, there was this car of a piece of cloth shoved into the tailpipe. That piece of, of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. Wow. I remember that ca uh, case record whenever I'm checking on a car, and I always check the tailpipe. Everyone's gotta have a hobby, I guess. Wouldn't it be funny if... Hey! There's something in there! What? Wait a second. Are these your... Ah! My panties! What? Already? Wow, thank you, Apollo. You're a genius, amazing. No, 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 really. Don't mention it. No, I'm serious, I'm really impressed. You must have a nose for finding girls' panties. Um, what are those? My little panties, of course. They come home to Mama. I can't <coughs> wait to use them. You're going to put them on now? Watch closely now. See? Nothing in the panties. Ta-da! Whoa, where'd that come from? How did that bowl get in your panties? My panties are an extra-dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. They're my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. Magic panties. They love them over at the Wonder Bar. I do shows there nightly. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have told me a little sooner. Prop for performing magic. Found an exhaust pipe of a car at Mercatus Clinic. Well, that's one case closed, at least. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off with the tool of my trade. Oh, right. Something tells me we're not finished searching this garage, anyway. Hold on a second, the, uh... Gotta check for clues here, no clues here, nothing? Okay. Something the matter? Uh, I was just wondering if there was, like, a switch on these. Of course not! Oh, mysterious. Oh, do you want to know the secret of my panties? Uh, no, no, no thanks. I okay, this is getting weird. Who uses magic panties in a stage show anyway? 
the car here. The mirror. Hey, look at that. The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue. What? You're smiling like you know something I don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? A clue, let's see. Go evidence. I think I do have the clue that you've got in mind. My clue is this. Whoa, it's the same color and size and everything. Perfect match. I guess we could check it out. Hmm, two pieces of garbage and paint on them. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something, or someone. Well, looks like we're just solved the case. So the car that hit Daddy last night is sitting right in front of us, yep. Well, you put the pro in a professional, Apollo. Well, that's why I'm the professional. Uh, but, uh, so the, the car's here. This is the, this is the car that hit Phoenix. The panties are, are, are here, also. Where is the stand? Gee, thanks, Trucy. Apollo. Huh? What is it? Now that we've solved this case, we should go report to Daddy. He'll mope if, if we leave him alone too, too long, knowing him. Um, okay. He doesn't seem the type to mope through. This is hardly a case worth reporting. Anything else I'm missing in here? Huh? Mr. Wright's gone. Maybe he's gone for an examination? He'll probably be back soon. Let's wait. I think it might take some time. Daddy always loves his examinations. Don't ask justice. You don't want to know. Why don't we come back later? Yeah, I guess you're not- you're right. Okay, so where am I gonna go now? What? You want to see them again? Well, if you must. No, 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 I'm fine, really. Let's just put them away, shall we? Case closed. What are you talking about? The case isn't closed until we have our thief. Just find him on the side while you work on the other cases. If it were that easy, we wouldn't need the police. If we don't need the police, then we don't need defense attorneys either, right? Fine, fine. I'll look for your panty snatcher. Well, do we have any leads? Hmm. One moment. Alakazam. Alakazing. Well, where did all this evidence come from? Um, so what happens next? That's it. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, neat. Haha. <laughs> hey, uh... Let's look at those slippers now. then. Uh. Okay, yeah, we've already repeated this line. I can't look at the slippers now? If that's relevant? I mean, maybe the slippers aren't even relevant to the case. Uh. found out who this, uh, mirror belongs to. Oh? You're tougher than you look. Spit it out. Who was it? Where do they live? Uh, Urk, I- I just forgot him. I remember, Apollo. It was the Mercatus Clinic. Shh. Uh, wh why? I'm right, aren't I? 
her cat is, uh, A. Um, yes. Why is she so quiet all of a sudden? Is something wrong? Um, no. Pay me no mind. And thanks for the info. The Mercatus Clinic is probably some kind of front. That's probably what it is. Uh... Can I present her with anything else important here? I have to talk to somebody, that's probably what it is. But like, this this is the hardest parts of Ace Attorney, are when you have situations like this, when you're trying to, um... When you're trying- because basically you have to present a specific piece of evidence to somebody to move forward. And, uh... At his clinic, Mr. Wright's office, Kitaki Mansion. And the, the park, somebody can cross through the park and go to, yeah, they can go from the park all the way to Mr. Wright's office and Aldoon's house, too, and towards the Mercatus Clinic. Tell my bowls by the Mr. Salty logo, the mascot of Eldoon's noodles. They come to the stand, they sit, they drink uh, deep from that bowl. And when they see the bottom, their face looks just like Mr. Salty's genius, no? Very high concept. You can't ply a trade if you don't love the tools, remember that. Yes, sir. Brucey has one thing for professionals, clearly. Uh... Maybe if I show the, um, the map to the Kitaki woman, maybe that's what I gotta do. Let's see here. Oh, it isn't. What am I supposed to do now, then? It's not the slippers. Um, I can't pick those up again, so... Something fishy with this clinic. Hmm. 
This car versus Mr. Right, not quite the match of the century. Yeah, this car belongs to somebody at the clinic. What's this? Look, it's a folding ladder. Holly, that's called a step ladder. Come on, a step ladder. How is that different from a regular ladder then? It's a much more complex piece of machinery. It's like two ladders stuck together. So you admit that basically it's a ladder, right? Wait, huh? You have to look past the form at the essence of the fig. Er, can we just talk about something else? Everything in here is searched. Okay, I don't have to do anything else in here. Where do I go now? Everything here is searched too. Maybe something I have to examine in here. Uh, well, that fork is floating. Not. What do you have? Why do you have a plate of plastic spaghetti here? Oh, that right there is the whole reason I became a magician. Do tell. I saw a plate just like that in a restaurant once. The floating fork looks so real. That's when I knew someday I'd make magic more amazing than, than spaghetti. These are all sort of strange, um, uh, paraphernalia sitting on top of the piano. Those are my magic props. Practice, practice, practice. A professional never leaves their weapons far from reach. But you can't play the piano with all this junk on it. Oh, no one plays here anyway. The neighbors complain. I guess Mr. Wright really can't play. An old sepia-tinted photo of a man in this silk top hat. That's my favorite magician. I want to be just like him someday. Very nice. Guess it's a good to have a role model, even if he's gotta be well over 100. How rude. A strange split box lures at me from the wall. Um, is this one of those boxes for cutting people in half? That's right. This cabinet is used for an illusion called a zigzag. I've seen one on TV, but why is just one sitting here in your office? Oh, it's a little bit, um, big for me, you see? I'm using it as a furniture. Hats in the top, shirts in the middle, and pants down below. I think it's a nice touch, don't you? Not exactly what I call welcoming decor. A blue silk hat just like the one Tru Trucy is wearing. Oh, that's just for show. Don't wear it, please. Last thought from my mind, honest. I put it there so clients can see and know who I am. Nothing says magician like a silk top hat. Ah, don't touch Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie? He's been in the office much longer than I have. Daddy's me a mentor and a great fondness for Mr. Charlie. He's lived here since Daddy was a rookie attorney. Ah, oh, Mr. Charlie. Right. Now I take care of him. That table doesn't look very sturdy. You've never seen one of these? It's a magic table. So, like, uh, you make the teapot disappear. They might think, but that's not it. Or your very eyes to cause the pot change. From Earl Grey to Darjeeling. Kinda hard to see the difference, I think. Okay, I think it's something in the hospital I'm missing. All these legal books must be Mr. Wright's leftovers. There's a lot of unrelated books in here, too. One trick a day, magic for idiots. You'd think a pro magician would aim a bit higher. That's one of those hula hoop things everyone was crazy about way back when. Really? I had no idea these were that popular. I'm not so bad with one myself, actually. Hey, I'm still learning. So you can really make someone levitate with it. Show me. Oh, uh, I, I have no idea how. It's just a normal hula hoop, isn't it? Okay, oh, look, there's a guillotine up here, too. <laughs> um, 
Okay, let's go to, uh, the hospital. The clinic, yeah. I think it's something at the clinic that I'm missing. Television's been left on for an episode of The Steel Samurai. Like the same episodes before, must be his favorite. Mr. Wright's bed, wow, what a mess. Brucey must be in charge of cleaning at home. A swaying, spiraling stack of DVD cases. It looks ready to collapse, better keep my distance. A bottle of Mr. Wright's favorite brand of grape juice. After that trial, I'll never drink grape juice again. Clearly not a problem for Mr. Wright, however. Small children's piano. I guess the man likes pink. Can't imagine what I have to do now. Um, what's next? Uh, yeah, this is this is like the hardest parts of like the investigations is uh, when you're trying to figure out what to do next to progress. Uh, something I'm missing in here, like. I was able to look at everything again from scratch, but check mark is back on everything, but uh, I'm so glad we found my panties. I had no idea they were so important to you. And in time for tonight's show too. A lot of people come here just to see my panties, you know. You might not want to advertise it like that. What's that, Polly? Oh, I know. You want to see a magic trick? Well, you've come to the right girl. Watch I make that evidence disappear forever. Whoa, whoa, no, don't. Sorry, my bad. Okay, this we've uh, seen here before. Uh... But, uh... Connected in a w weird way here, too. Oh, the park. That's what I was missing. Can I ask you a question? What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh, yes. Quite the commotion. Chicago's lightning, as the boss would say. Chicago, huh? Gunfire. Someone was killed. Strange circumstances, too. That's what it was. The gunshot. You're kidding. What a morning. Trouble everywhere. The park, the gate, even our house. Did something happen at your house, too? Crime without honor, without remorse. Crimes have honor now? It's a private matter. Want to hear about it? No, I don't think no is an acceptable answer, Polly. Private matter. So, what happened at your house? Bloomers, last night. Hey, eh? I got a bad feeling about this. Me little plum Kitaki, the victim of a party snatcher. Uh, oh, pan panty snatcher, I, I read it wrong. What? 
Uh, so it wasn't just my panties that were, was, were stolen? Got you too, did they? Poor thing. Like I said, whoever uh, did this is a hardened criminal. If it wasn't you, was it? <laughs> no, of course not. Mercy. I've heard word that panties have been disappearing lately. And the missing panties all have something in common. It's hard to imagine Trucy and Miss Kitaki's panties having much in common. I just imagine Miss Kitaki's panties. I know. We'll find your bloomers, um, too. Great. Show me what you're made of. What have you gotten me into this time, Trucy? Oh, her? That girl from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. Ah, uh, uh, hello, mother. He's a Kataki, too. Um, uh, miss, miss. Here, our flyer. The... Right? Anything agency? A anything agency? Yeah, do you like the new flyer? So, um, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apollo Justice. Attorney? Drop by our office, we'll be waiting. Ah, uh, goodbye. Why did you give her our flyer? I don't know. She seemed like she could use some help. She's the heiress to a gangster dynasty. She doesn't need our help. I wouldn't be so sure. Okay. Let's see if Phoenix is back then. Hope he's not back still. Um... Oh, the Mercatus Clinic. So I had to talk to them, that's what I had to do. Hey, do you think something happened next door? There's a police car out front. Eh, probably g gave someone food poisoning, I bet. If anyone's at risk of giving someone food poisoning, that police car got here this morning, actually. I asked what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me the neighbor. Beh. Hmm. Not that I was surprised much, that doctor works for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time before he got what was coming to him. Eh. The wrong crowd. Never you mind about that. Okay, there we go. Eggfield Clinic. Yo, how goes it? Daddy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy, not bad. It's good to have you youngins on the case. Let, let's all daddy get some uh, well-deserved R&R. The elderly need their rest. Uh, isn't he only 33? Um, we've cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent. Capable. Tell me what you found out if you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. Progress report. Well, I certainly didn't expect you back this early. Ollie's amazing. He found my panties so quick. Almost like he was the one who stole them. You have an interesting concept of praise. And? Did you find the mad driver who gave me that 30-foot toss? Apparently, it was a doctor from the Mercatus Clinic. Hmm, Mercatus, eh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened. What is this Mercatus clinic anyways? All I've heard are the rumors. That clinic's been making good money in a bad way. Like I said, it's a front. It's making money in an illegal way. Bad. Highest organized crime. The Kentucky family. The Kentucky family? Who's that? Um, the Kentucky family. He did that on purpose. Oh. Some per injuries you can't, um, uh, take to a public hospital, see? They use the Mercatus Clinic for their patch-up jobs. Yeah, that's right. So if a gangster gets hurt, they're gonna go to their own doctors. They have their own doctors that take care of them off the books. That's because if somebody gets shot or they get hurt, um, they will go to, um, uh, uh they'll go to their own doctor because if they go to a hospital, they're gonna call the cops. Interesting. People Park. It looked like something had happened in that park. 
Huh? A body was found there in unusual circumstances. Something more unusual than being dead? It's not our concern in any case. Right. Let's ignore that and find that noodle stand. Whatever happened to, to professional curiosity? Thanks. Really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to this Mercatus place. Maybe hit him up for some reparations. A little legal action would do some good. Um, I was wondering when I get paid. We solved the case of your accident and, um, found a missing article of clothing. My panties. That leaves a noodle stand. Hey. Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'll be happy to help with anything not involving money. Goodbye. Quid pro, uh, pro, um, hello pro bono side. Right, back to the office to plan our next move. Uh... Present. So this was the thing that led you to the car. Yes sir, the mirror you knocked off uh, was just a clue we needed. Good work, Apollo. Of course, you might say, I was the one who made this, solving that case possible. You don't get points for knocking off a car mirror. It's actually a relief to be so thoroughly ignored. Look, my panties, uh, they came home to mama. Thanks, Apollo. I was worried about them too. Brucey special, special order dose. Startling display of parental concern. I hate to have to buy a new pair, shudder. Make that a not so startling display of cheapskate-ness. June 15th, right anything, agency. Oh, it's her? You, you're the woman from the Kitaki place. Yes, yes. I knew it. Something's uh, the matter and you want her help, right? Well, you come to the right place. This way, please. Um, thank you. My name is Alitia Tiala. I have a request. Your request. Your request. Uh, let me guess. Something's been stolen? Um, your flyer. It says now defending, so I thought... Wh what? You mean, you mean you want me to defend you? Maybe you can tell us what happened. Were you hit by a car? Did someone steal your stand? Or your panties? No, no. I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my... Well, my fiancé, I suppose you'd call him. Fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder? Have you heard about what happened at the park? The park murder. Yala's story. So, what's your story? You frequent the Ki Kitaki a mansion, yes? Are you a member of their, um, organization? No. Not yet. Not yet. You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son. So he's a... A gangster. Yes, but the Kitakis are locally responsible gangsters. I thought it'd be nice, uh, for a change. Quit my boring job, live the good gangster life. Well, at least she's being honest. I think you're onto something. Miss Kitaki, I like the sound of that. I'm not sure your daddy w would would care much for that. Murder in the park. But what 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 happened? I haven't been told all the details, but I do know a body was found in the park near the Kitaki Mansion. There were a lot of police cars there. Apparently, the victim was shot with a pistol. But I hear the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiance was arrested for this? Um, what sort of person is your fiancé? Your fiancé is the Kitaki family's only son, correct? His name's Waki. Waki Kitaki. I brought a photo. Well, that's, uh, quite the photo. I know, oh, he can be powerful and menacing, but so cute. Well, that fo that shirt that he has there, that's the police's mascot, remember that. It's kind of weird that he has that on. But if he's the boss's only son, yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. Say I'm a boss already of this agency. Please help my walkie, please. Right. My first solo defense case. Prime boss's son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Letter of request from uh, Alitia um, Tiala for the legal defense for fiancé Waki Kitaki. Uh, what a name, Waki Kitaki, like Waki Talkie. Right, let's uh, go check out the scene of the crime.
Why does this envelope say hit request? Um, it's a bit of lingo, like calling a hit or a hitman. Oh, you mean gangster talk. Uh, so, so does hit mean to defend in gangster else? I say, well, hitman? I certainly hope not. Something tells me she used the wrong envelope. Okay. Uh, let's go to, um... Detention Center. June 15, Detention Center. Visitor's Room. Holly, you look as happy as a, a, the Calaminate Shell. For a lawyer, this is it. The place where the battle begins. Um, you need something? Ah, yes. We're attorneys. I was hoping we could see Mr. Waki Kitaki. Sorry, he's in questioning right now. Could take a while. Rat, oh well, guess we'll have to come back later. Then well this this is actually a violation of his rights at this point. Um it, it, what's kind of weird about Ace Attorney is Ace Attorney kind of combines both Japanese and American law, but if somebody requests a lawyer, the police can't question them. They cannot do that. All they have to say is I want a lawyer. Police cannot question more than that. Uh so Lily, that's um uh he should say, ask my client if he wants to talk to police or if he wants his lawyer right now. And, um, you know, the police can't really um, hold him in questioning for that. I mean, they can hold him in custody, but they can't question him. So much for that battle. Um... Uh... I hope that's okay. I've never written a letter of request before. Oh, it's fine. I should hope it's your first. If we take this, we'll be able to investigate the scene. I'm not sure I understand. I'm sorry. No, no. It's me who's sorry, really. I wonder if this is her phone. No, she doesn't recognize it. Okay, where are we gonna go? Um... June 15. That motorcycle is new. So this is it. My first murder crime scene. Ah, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're um, investigating. Aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request here. Letter of... Huh. Why does it say hit request on it? Miss uh, Tiala must have used the Kitaki st stationery. Excuse me, coming through. Ah, it's you, Mr. Gavin. Who's this guy? I must say, I'm, I'm used to being inspected by the ladies. But this is the first time I felt this way, uh, uh, with, with a man? Mr. Gavin? Ah, oh, Frolin, what is a sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place? Can I help? Uh, yes, yes. The policeman officer fellow here won't let us in. We even have a letter of request. You must be exhausted. Standing out here. I will take you to the scene of the crime. Oh, re really? By your leave, officer. Yeah, yes, sir. Of course, sir. Is that Kristoff? I can't tell. Because Kristoff is supposed to be in prison for murder. Uh, this way, Fraulein. Um, hey, what about me? June 15, People's Park. On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you. Will we see you again? Ask the wind for all, for all line. I'll be riding on it. Who was that? Eek. Apollo, look. A, a, a corpse. W what? Hey, it's just a mannequin. Wow, um, it sure got me. <laughs> uh, might I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? Oh, it's you. How did you kids get in here? Oh, this guy, well, he was more like a, a prince, really. He let us in. Him again. That glimmerous fop always getting in my way. Anyway, this is... This scene is off limits. Excuse me, we have a letter of request. Hmm. One moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? I'd recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says this was written by a, 
Alita Tiala. Thanks. It took you 30 minutes to figure that out? So, what's up with the mannequin there? It's taken the place of the body, um, preserving the scene of, of the crime as it was found. The body, uh, was pulling the stand? What? So you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Sky, I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't seem that happy about it. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. I trust you know how, how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. The case. Um, Detective Sky, quiet please. It's snack time. Okay. We're not making much progress here. You must not be very busy. Yeah, the, the thing about this is, um, uh, first of all, lawyers really wouldn't be going to a crime scene. That's one of the things about an Ace Attorney game. Uh, maybe they'll be outside of the crime scene, but actually going inside the crime scene, no. Uh, and also eating any kind of food near the crime scene, no, that's a big no-no. You're basically contaminating the scene. Um, back after nine years, and they won't give me this position I requested. And then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. He? Who's he? Next, the defense attorney. He's probably talking about Phoenix. Um, um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. It's snack time. Oh no, not again. We're not making much progress here. He must not be very busy. I never seem to get a lucky break. Back for nine years, they won't give me that position I requested. Then I hear he gives up the defense attorney life. He? Who's he? An ex-defense attorney? Um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. No, no. You gotta be kidding me now. Oh my god, she's totally useless. Not making much progress here. You saying the same thing. I can maybe present her with something? Uh... If you could spare a moment to take a look at this, uh, can't you see I'm extremely, extremely busy? Eating snacks, yes. Okay. Okay, let's, um... Examine the crime scene. So this mannequin is in place of the... Of, and the thing is... It looks more like a statue, but like, no, you wouldn't make a crime scene. That's the, that, that looks like the noodle stand. Hey there, no messing with the crime scene. But we need to investigate. Investigations are to be carried out by professionals, scientifically. He's not going to let us check out the crime scene, is she? Hey, Apollo. My very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. It's kind of hard to not to notice. Better check out what we came here to find, at least. Hey there, no messing with the crime scene, but we need to investigate. Apollo, look! That stand! It says Eldun. I've noticed. Well, we've solved the case of the missing stand at least. Though the circumstances could stand to be better. Has that up the top there too. Hey. Okay, uh Yeah, she doesn't even want to look at my attorney's badge. Okay, let's go tell Mr. Eldun then what happened. Oh look, the, the woman's gone.
Oh, Mr. Eldoon. Hello? Looks like he left. And we found his stand and everything. What about our free bowl? Oh, too bad. Looks like we'll have to wait a little longer for that bowl. So sorry. Ah, uh, what a bummer. No, the garage? No, okay. Oh, right, we could probably go to the police station now. Um... Uh, still in questioning? Security guard will know it's probably a police officer. I do now. Oh, yeah, this is where I had to go. Pickfield Clinic. Ah, you're back. Run into some problems. Oh, Polly, didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Who, me? No, I'm fine, really. What's this? So there is a problem. No, 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 no problem. Actually, I got a defense request. A defense request? That is a problem. Huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. The request was for me. Oh, right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's doing that on purpose. I know it. Murder. So what about this defense request? It's related to the murder in, in People Park, actually. Guess what? We found Mr. Aldoon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime. They do now. That's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. Um, I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean you don't know, uh, what the, the murder weapon was? That funny detective lady won't let us on the scene. What kind of detective wears a lab coat anyway? A lab coat? Hmm. Didn't think she'd be involved with this. You know her? You could say that. Guy connection. So, he defended her- Phoenix defended her sister in the fifth case in the first game. So you know her, don't you? I met her on a case. This was about, uh, ten years ago. He was still a high school student at the time. That uh, would make her about the same age as me. That's my daddy. He knows all the police types. Oh wait, maybe you know that other guy too. That other guy? That shining prince on the motorcycle. Prince? Mysterious prince. Apollo, tell me about this prince of truces. Indulge a concern, father. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Gavin. Did he now? You know him? My guess is he's Kristoff Gavin's younger brother. Oh! His brother? We're acquaintances after a fashion. Uh, Clavier Gavin, rock and roll god incarnate. Clavier, what a lovely name. He's so dreamy. I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. And what was he doing out there? I have a feeling you'll be crossing paths again soon. He's probably a prosecutor. Now what was the problem again? Having trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? Yeah, that detective woman won't let us. Go to the office. Under the sil um, silk top hat, you'll find a bottle of white powder. Try talk, uh, taking that to this detective. White powder. I hope it's not what I think it is. Yeah, hope it isn't. Just take it to her. It'll be fine. You'll see. Oh, and tell her I said hi. Okay, gotta go to the office then. Uh... uh the hat... So this must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Whoa. You know what this is, Trucy. I remember finding some in Daddy's dresser when I was little. I thought it was sugar, so I licked it. He got mad at me. This is getting more and more suspicious. Mysterious white powder with the uh, illegibility improved Detective Sky's mood. I really hope that's not the white powder that we're thinking of. The bottle has a label on it. Can you read it? Uh, not a word. I'm not sure I speak whatever language this is written in. That's too bad. I guess we're stuck with this mysterious bottle of white powder. 
No clues here. Okay. Okay, she sort of know what that white powder is. Okay, let's go to her then. Uh... Um, does this ring any bells? Ah, uh, is that... It could... Where'd you get that? I brought it from the office. You work at the Wright & Co. Law Offices, yes. Er, uh, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how do you know my daddy? D -d daddy I'm sorry, who, who did you say you were? Brucey Wright, Phoenix Wright's daughter. What? Mr. Wright has a daughter? You seem shocked. W well, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're, in his, you're his apprentice, then I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh, uh, thanks. You can start by not calling Mr. Wright's apprentice. This powder is used for de detecting fingerprints. Fingerprints. I guess you might call it a memento from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. White powder memories. If you find any evidence with fingerprints on it, please let me know. Well, dust for prints. Well, he's quite the eager uh, beaver all of a sudden. Examine fingerprints to detect and match prints. Okay. The case. The report came in last, late last night. The body was found much as you see it is now. Except it was a real body. But why? Why was a body pulling a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. A pistol? Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. Unless you're a cop or a gangster. Incidentally, the victim's name was Paul Mercatus. Oh, the doctor. I just received the autopsy report, in fact. Time of death, June 14th or 10pm, causes that single bullet to the right temple. I mean, really, what's up with this case? It's enough to make me want to run off pulling a mysterious noodle stand behind me. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know uh, where the stand came from. A likely story, I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where the noodle stand came from. The noodle stand's owner is... Guy Dune. Who's this, the old guy? This is the proprietor of Eldun's noodles, Mr. Eldun himself. He's, fam he's famous in this part of town. Not bad, I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. That saved me a lot of work, thanks. Mr. Eldun's noodle stand, victim died pulling it. Why was he pulling the noodle stand? Before he died, what sort of person was the victim anyway? You mean, what did he do? He was a doctor. A doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. And the noodle stand. Uh. I don't think there's really anything to examine here. What's this box? Uh, oh, okay. Your story. Who, me? I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. Detective Sky. hmm. I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic an a scientist. Oh, were you studying abroad? Something like that. I was studying in Europe. Forensic science, mind you. But when I got back here, they threw me in criminal affairs, just like that. Why didn't you just become a forensic expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but... I had a lot of favors to repay uh, to people back here. Favors? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in an incident before I left. When Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owed them. Really? I had no idea. If she's been out of the country for a while, she probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current um, state of affairs. Yeah, she doesn't know that Phoenix got disbarred from being a lawyer. Um, could you tell us a bit about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kitaki family, yes. Waki Kitaki. I don't know if he is the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around. Violently in the detention center. I see. Why was he arrested in the first place? You are a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his, his by any chance. Er, actually, yes I am. Well, 
We have a witness to the moment of the crime. Great. A. The witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. What? Could you tell us a bit more about the victim? Well, let's see. Apparently, he's the physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off, too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is the Mercat Mercatus, or Mercatus Clinic. Mercatus Clinic. I I've been reading it wrong. Uh, maybe that's why the cop car, uh, car was parked there. What? You've been to the clinic? Yeah. Fought on, on a related issue. I told the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. I see. So that means... Dr. Maractus Mar uh, stole the stand and pulled it all the way here? That would seem to be the case. But why? Don't ask me. So that makes sense. So, so, th that does make sense. The doctor was the one who took the stand. How do I know he took the stand? Because the clinic is right next to the, to the noodle shop. So that means that the dog that's in front of the stand would see the doctor every single day. So the dog knew the doctor. So when the doctor took the stand, the, the dog didn't think anything of it. That's why. But why did the doctor take the stand? It doesn't... It's... Hey. Be here. This mannequin is dressed up to look like a police officer. I've seen one at the station. A mannequin in place of a body. The body of the victim has already been removed. Do you think the victim was a noodle stand thief? What? You think someone killed him because he stole it? Yeah. Taking care of business. Little plum kitaki style. Try not to sound too eager about that, please. What's this in the park? There's gotta be a uh, good clue or two around here. You and your trash cans, go ahead, knock yourself out. Please. Can't you see I'm doing my... Huh? I... L look, another pair of... Underwear? That's Miss Kitaki's underwear. Well, Apollo, you're a genius at finding panties. Stop saying that. Wait. These aren't... Th they're not mine. Could these have been stolen too? Found in a trash can at People's Park, distinct in bloomers to say the least. What, this this case is getting so weird. So you have some shady like Yakuza Mafia clinic that's like working with them. The doctor is killed from the clinic. He steals the food stand, takes it to the park, is shot, and somebody tries to run over Phoenix. And the and literally somebody stealing two people are stealing panties, like or somebody stealing two panties. This is this is a uh, yeah. This is such a mess right now. This whole situation is such a mess. And this is Mr. Eldoon's noodle stand, obviously. It does say Eldoon in big letters, doesn't it? And that mark on his paper lantern there looks familiar. It's going to be a little weird telling him what with the corpse and all. Anyway, that wraps up three of our cases. That's right. Congratulations, Apollo. And leaves us with one case that's worse than all three put together. Murder. The tarp is here, too. Blue tarps have been placed on the ground around the stand. Apollo, I bet the victim was going to have a picnic here. I guess he could have eaten all the noodles he wanted. Don't touch those. Those are preserving the crime scene. Oh, I guess the police put those tarps here after all. Benches line the river running through the park. Ah, a little urban oasis. Let children come here to splash around in the water. That river is a little deep for splashing, and a little dirty. Well, they could listen to the water and pretend they were playing. These bloomers sure have a distinct design. You certainly know who they belong to at a glance. That way she doesn't have to write her name on them. Genius. I would think writing your name would be easier than drawing a plum blossom. Victim's name, Palmeractus, age 46, estimated time of death, June 14, between 10.15 p.m. and 10.45, cause of death, damage to brain, resulting from bullet wound, point of interest, entry point, right temple. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can, um... Uh... Attention center. Is he back, finally? Nope, he's not back yet, still. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm, I think we should focus on finding more information about the case. You seem to be having fun. Of course, this is my first criminal investigation, and it's so mysterious. A noodle stand pushing a dead man along. Uh, I think it was the other way around. The dead man was pulling the stand. But you're right about it being mysterious. I knew it. More information. That's what we need. Uh, Eldoon still isn't back? Okay, uh... Where the hell is Eldoon right now? Uh... Uh, it's actually a relief to be so thoroughly ignored. Uh, fingerprint powder in some strange language. How do we know for sure? What this is really a jar of something else, like jam or honey? Why would anyone go through the trouble? Well, so the police don't find out, that's why. I hardly think possessing fingerprint powder is a crime. Oh, huh, I guess. That's boring. Gotta, I think we gotta do something at the park. I don't think I can help you with that. I think you need more just scientific help. But ask me anything you like. Just ask scientifically. Um. Why did Dr. Maractus die like this? Pulling a noodle stand. Very strange. Inconceivable. I just don't get it. Some people just can't die normally. He's dead, give him a break. Fingerprint analysis is the very base of modern forensic science. Doesn't just ta talking about it leave you breathless with excitement? Oh yes, breathless actually, it does sound kinda interesting. Let me know if you find any evidence that might have a print or two, alright? The phone would have prints on it 100%, that's the thing about it. Uh... I'll look at this, Apollo. Mr. Aldoon spelled his, um... His name backwards on on this noodle. Um, I think that says noodle. Uh, as in Eldun's noodles. Uh. Oh, oh, I get it. The name of his store is the same whether you read it forward or backwards. Yeah, I guess it would be. Well, except for the last S. Then how about a store a store called Team Meat? A uh, close, but that would be. Team mate backwards, and what kind of store is that? Why a store that sells meat? It's not meat unless it's team meat. figure this out. What, there's so much stuff, there's, it's a bit overwhelming here, too.
Yeah. Eugene, do you have any ideas? I'm lost on this right now. Uh... What's this? It's a knife! A shiv to be precise. Oh? Lingo? The defendant Waki Kitaki is the son of known gangsters. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Wait, wasn't the murder weapon a pistol? Oh, look at this. There's a handprint on the shiv. A handprint? And there might be a fingerprint. This is what I had to do? It was like, I couldn't even see the, the knife anywhere. Like, eh. First, choose the fingerprint you want to examine. Ah, uh, Was that there the entire time? I just didn't see it? I'm... Look closely at the hang handle. Those black spots? That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. Okay. Right, let's get detecting. Wow, she's practically glowing with excitement. First, sprinkle some aluminum powder over the print. With a press of X like this. The oil left by the print absorbs the aluminum powder. Uh, so you just dust it on. And blow it off. Blow? It's like whistling, you know? Had a whistle, don't you? Just use triangle end. Wow, amazing. It's like magic. Eh, <laughs> isn't it though? Right, let's give it a shot. Incidentally, it's important that you cover the entire, um, uh, the entire fingerprint with the powder. Okay, dust for prints. Hmm, good, clear. Quite impressive. Next, to match the print, the police official has samples so you can tell whose fingerprint this belongs to. Hmm. It doesn't sound like as much fun as actually finding the print. Okay, pick the person whose print you think this is. You probably have a good idea whose knife this is already. Yup, it's the same thing. So this fingerprint, uh, uh, fingerprints do belong to this defendant. Yes. Isn't it amazing? Ah, uh, the power science is my life. Follow. She's sparkling. And I'm dimming. Look sharp. Spirit's up. The real fight is yet to come. Chin up, Polly. The trial hasn't even started. I'm already losing. Knife known as Shiv, uh, found at the crime scene bearing Walkie's prints. So, have you met the defendant? Uh, uh, no. Visiting hours are almost over at the detention center. You might think about wrapping up here and heading over. Good idea. I don't know what good it will do. We have a witness and a knife with prints. Have I mentioned I've got a bad feeling about this? Don't worry. It's like a right tradition. Some traditions I can live without. Okay. So the defendant's prints are on his knife. That would mean he was here the night of the crime scene. That's what I call irrefutable scientific evidence. Neat. N not so neat when it happens to be evidence against their client. Uh... Okay. 15 Detention Center, Visitor's Room. I'm sorry, meeting hours for the day are all done. But we still have, uh, three minutes. I'll put in your request, but don't expect anything. Father's talking in the private room with him. 
The father? You mean like a priest. I mean the suspect's father, Mr. Winfred Big Wins Kitaki himself. Not someone I care to meet. Die, you! You're the one on your way out, old. Ah, uh, they're, they're here. Whoa, this guy radiates power. Power with an acute apron. You walkie's lawyer? Y y yes sir. Well, I'm Big Wins Kataki, four head of the Kataki family. Uh, capiche? Er, actually, I came to speak to your son. Mr. Justice. Yes. My son's innocent. He killed no one. If he were found guilty, it wouldn't be good. Capiche? Y yes I'm all about Capiche and Capiche loud and clear. You gotta do more than that just understand to make it. You'll learn. Through, though. Even if, if the lesson comes out at the end of your short life. I don't feel so good. What's the big idea, old man? You can't treat me like a kid no more. Not now. You know, I I, I wanted to go to the uh, clink. I, I like it here. You must be walkie. A G's not a G till he does hard time, Bizoi. You'll see, when I get out of here, things will change. Silence. My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's usually just such a nice boy. Forgive me if I have a hard time believing that. Ha! You can't take me under your wing this time, old man. You heard me? I don't need no trial. I did it. I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice. Don't let me down tomorrow. So much for talking to our client. But we made so much progress today. We even found my panties. I had fun, at least. Of course, the biggest mystery of all remains. How am I supposed to build a case for the trial? Oh, almost forgot. It's time for my show. Tonight, I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come check it out. Okay. Okay, so that was a really long investigation part, but the next part's gonna be the trial, so... I guess we'll leave it off here, then. To save my game here. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I know this part was kind of long, but trying to find all that evidence um, uh, was a bit hard and uh, for figuring out who to talk to. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, do drop a like. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.